Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to upgrade your website to Joomla 3.4 in a manual way. So I'm now in the FileZilla FTP manager and I'm going to upload the full package of Joomla to the server. I have to go to the downloads folder because I have installed a Joomla 3.4 full package here. I have unzipped this package and this is the unzipped version of the, the package that you can download on the Joomla site. And now I'm going to just select all, control all, control A is that. And then I the guide, guide, mouse, guide mouse button, I click upload. And then it's going to upload. I'm choosing choose this action always, or always use this action. And I'm going to click on OK. And then I'm going to wait till it actually has uploaded everything. I'm going to hope that it will work for my website. Just wait and see. Take some time. If I go to the website, this will be the administrator. This is where, where I go to actually. Okay, it's looking like the 3.4 colors. So it's actually look, looking like the colors already. <clears throat> Just got to wait. Be patient. It's actually the manual way and just upload it to the file with the file manager. The, you could do it in the file manager of your your backend of your host. You have a C panel, you can do that also. You just take the packets, click on the right click on the packets and click extract. Or you use use FTP like I do, just extract it on your desktop or your laptop. Then you upload it to your server, and after that, I delete the installation folder. But it still has to upload everything yet; it's not finished. So we got to wait. It's Two thousand more files. So, wait and wait. Luckily, it goes pretty fast. And if you don't like waiting, you just go further in the YouTube video. Can go forward a little bit. 
let's see, just 800 fells. So we are almost there. Okay, it's finished now. So we're going to the installation folder. We're going to right click. We click on remove. Click yes. I don't want to keep the installation folder. So we have to wait again. <sighs> And once it's finished, we are going to check back the website. Now it's gone. I go to refresh. I go to click extension manager. I go to click on database. Database. It's still on Joomla 3.3 fix, so I'm going to click fix. Now I'm going to log out to see if I can log back in because I worked on another website, I made a video about it before. It's just on another server, it's on a Bluehost server. And I am hosted with this website on my hostnet, so I hope this works out. I'm going to log out. Oh well. It's actually working already. I didn't that that site on Blue House showed a blank page, but this site doesn't show a blank page on the so I still can log back in, that's that's good part. Now I'm going to check the website because I want to see if it actually doesn't show any errors on Joomla 3.4. Front end and back end are important. Front end seems to be working. About us. So it's good to just check everything when you have updated your website. 
nothing weird is happening on the website. This is shop. Shop. The biography. The radio. The gallery. On the gallery here. Called Osio Gallery. That looks good. Videos. And then go back to the home page. That's how you check the website and I will check everything tomorrow, but the website seems to be working fine and the if there's some things that I should be updated or videos that should be changed, then I will do that tomorrow. But the website itself, everything seems to work fine. At least it's updated to the latest version now. Hope you liked, I hope you liked this tutorial. And I hope he will be back to my channel soon.